Hi, many people in rural remote areas of Fiji still lack the basic necessity like water, roads for connectivity and electricity power to light up homes. This week on Nation's Business, I will take you to some of the rural remote areas of Noelevu and bring to you the challenges they faced before government stepped in to make life much more easier for them. First up is Nakavika village in the district of Senganga in the Maduata province. Public transportation to and from the village is through RSL carriers and if you miss it, there is always a plan B. It's either you walk to the village or walk to the highway. This river runs beside Nakavika village. Villages rely on this river for washing, cooking, bathing and also for drinking water.
And because of that commitment, we've opened new taps just like this one, along with massive new water infrastructure projects all across Fiji over this past decade. Access to clean water is more than a building block of development. It is a rock solid foundation upon which a community can grow and prosper. The commissioning of the water project has brought about many advantages to the lives of the villagers. It has also led to proper sanitation in every household. Gone are the days where they use pit toilets, an old system that causes a lot of sickness like typhoid and skin diseases. Tu <laughs> Providing affordable and reliable electricity supply is the heart of economic development in any country anywhere in the world. In this segment, Nations Business will bring to you the commissioning of several grid extension projects in the district of Senganga and Riketi. Now, if we look into the geographical location of these communities, one can only imagine the amount of work done into the planning and execution of these projects. This clearly shows government's steady commitment in extending the grid into the greater rural remote areas. Before we take the generator, buy the diesel, one month 20 liter diesel, we can bought $50 or something. And that's now the good day. Eh? The city is good day. Eh? Yeah, this one you buy at the top up and we enter this one. Command is good. Everything is here good now. <laughs> Join 
I am really thankful for this uh, new current government which have uh, provided us electricity around our villages, in our rural areas. Even the publics are really happy. They benefit with us and even we also benefit with the uh, customers. When I started, there was no electricity. We were, I was just using generator, and <coughs> generator cost me a lot. Like we have to, we just used uh, five freezers, and uh, the cost of uh, generator was really high compared to now. What this government have uh, put up, it's the. Uh, so the electricity, we are now benefiting, we got uh, more than 15 freezers in the shop and uh, we are really benefiting from it. I am uh, feeling good because we are upgrading all the systems now. Before we were just, uh, just on the normal users of our case register, now we are, everything is online and uh, things are really fast. We got all, uh, like we got apostles for the, uh, for the public. We got uh, e-ticketing for the buses, everything, and even we got uh, uh, online case register. Online, it's online. Everything is online. We don't have to run anywhere else. Yeah. हम लोग के रखेती में marketing जो ना यहाँ पे तरकारी बाजी के इसके यहाँ shopping किया जाए और हम लोग के अस्पताल जो यहाँ के नजदीक में है उसके बाद में हम लोग दुकान में आए थे यहाँ पे पैसा हम लोग के लेन देन है और ओल्फिया के तरफ से जो हम लोग के खर्चा मिले हैं वो हम लोग यहाँ निकलता है और पैसा हम लोग के लेने में सुविधा है लंबा सा जाए दूर पड़ता रहा और यहाँ पे नजदीक है ये कारण से कि हम लोग के बहुत बड़ा सुविधा एक है सरकार बनाई से कि जिसमें दुकान में आओ अपन पैसा चेंज कर लो सौदा ले लो ये सब चीज के लिए बहुत आनंद है। ओ फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक द गवर्नमेंट फॉर ब्रिंगिंग द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डाउन हियर इन ट्रकेजी and we are really proud of that. We just want to once again thank the government, firstly, you know, for their hard work. And uh, there are a lot of changes now because, as I've said, where there was no light, now there is light. Firstly, and when our children now, like, uh, do the homework or, you know, or oh, especially on like clothes when we see ironing the clothes even now we have refrigerators at home so you know light is light so we are really you know enjoying with the light because you know electricity is very important and every Fijian deserves to share in the life-changing opportunities and the benefits that electricity can bring. Our 2013 constitution highlights a number of key areas where we as Fiji citizens have the rights for the rights that we have. And in the case today, a right to access to electricity. In this segment, Nation's Business will take you to Tukavesi village in the district of Natewa. Here the village has received a power supply through a solar hybrid project. Matin 
Matani Pusolo project, hybrid solo project, me by the Rivich, me Jingitak no Korotukovich, me Medaki. Er Sabibu Sarvali would not so long go over Nabibu Valley. Er Savulin on the fridge, Mersavakan on the Bishinish, Meratunum Bula and Vishinga.
Tunggu kalau saya ambil kio, main budi budi. Okay. Oh tahu? Minat saya ni. Moga rasa suami itu. Saya tahu saya tahu. Kami terus tio na na bawa na bawa dulu bisnis. Kalau tu kan na bawa bina kau mana matin tu. Kesian na bawa bukan matin tu. Eh siapa orang kami sami rawat juga na bawa ni bawa ni. Kena rawat juga na bawa ni bawa ni. Sambil nak kamera tak begini mami nak kena sami wakil atau kimi mungkin nak bisa ni libu ni bawa membeli atau nak kena bangat tak kena sola. Kimi mibar ni bukan kata balik bukan matin tu ni kimbau me na nuni tu. Na leni banuan, eh kimi mitung awak nak koro, bumerata tungai kini sana bula, nak kena ngarai nambula bayi lamu.